We're going to take a look at long and short drill and how it's evolved over the years. So um, originally it was just a transition drill that was three on O um, where we would have a short line and a long line. That's why we called it long and short. So the long line is here. The short line is here, meaning um, when the ball goes through the net and we inbound, this player is going to be our outlet. This player is going to be our runner. So what we're doing is we're just um, hammering home our transition roles and how we want to advance the ball up the floor with the pass. Good reps would be the ball doesn't hit the ground. Uh, you can add, you know, call uh, for the ball, call names. Uh, we typically don't go for a set amount of layups or certain amount of layups in a row because all you're doing is emphasizing the result. You can do that when the situation calls for it, but if we have a perfect rep and just – we blow the layup. Well, at least the effort there, the process was there. Just we don't want to put all of our money on the, the end result. A um, couple other teaching points. Typically, whenever we inbound the ball, so the passer is going to follow his pass and inbound it, we want to roll out to the right side to clear the basket. And we on the, the opposite side of the floor, this would still be our short line. This would be our long line. That way we're getting a left-handed layup going this way and a right-handed finish going the other way. So we've done this drill for a couple of years, and we would do a, a three-on-one transition drill after this. Uh, but I'm always looking to steal some time in reps and practice. So now by adding a defender in this drill, you're really doing three-on-o transition where you have an inbounder, you have a short line, you have your long line, and now we're adding a defender. The defender is the shooter. So – our shooter is here. He is going to get back and the, the rotations for the other drill stays the same. You have a short line, a long line. The passer will be the inbounder. This player made the layup. So now he's the defender, short, long, short line, long line. And you can just rinse and repeat. You're getting right hand and left handed finishes in transition. The last thing that we did uh, and we did this last practice because I wanted to emphasize playing one-on-one -on -one from transition. I felt like when we got this hit ahead pass too often, we would just look to return it up to the slot and, and, and play, um, and get into set offense when I really want to maintain this advantage. And if we can get a paint touch or a score here, we can keep our advantage, uh, and play, uh, you know, small advantage, big advantage basketball. So, um, what, instead of shooting layups, I wanted to get our hit ahead on the wing. And then I wanted to play one-on-one -on -one live from here. What we did in this scenario to, to just to boost some competitiveness, if you did not get a stop, you stayed on defense. So number four got scored on, he's going to go on defense. If number four gets a stop, then player 25 will go on D. So there he gets a stop. He's going to outlet it to the short line. This is a miss, so we don't take it out of bounds. Our misser here, our offense goes to defense. So I like that you're also building some multiple effort in there. Miss layup, doesn't matter. Don't have hes uh, time to hesitate to get back. Miss shot, we're already back, getting ourselves ahead of the ball. Uh, and then we'll play one-on-one -on -one from the wing. We had a big emphasis on attacking middle uh, here just so we can change ball side, help side, and spray it to the weak side of the floor if somebody shows their chest. Uh, I'm sure there's a million ways to uh, improve this. If you come across it, just uh, just please share it with me.